Hello and welcome, I'm Aruma, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Rajas of India. We now have Amir, um, a grandson via my son's wife. Excellent. Oops. Whoopsie. We've succeeded, finally! Gravity can be such a cruel mistress indeed. So this is occupied by some guy that we're hostile to, apparently. And I've just howled, because I'm lunatic. We want to fight this army here. Normally, I would... Yeah, actually, let's let's avoid the major river crossing, if possible. And, uh... You know, the Samanid Shadam has 2,500 troops there. The army of the Habari Shadam is who we're attacking. I believe, yes. Yeah, he's got 795 there. So really, we just need to smash part of his army. And right now, he's coming to Moulton... The Samanid Shadam, though, is neutral to us. I think. Most, mostly sure. Don't really know. We definitely need to, low, uh, to raise Crown Law soon, so we can actually control who our army leaders are. We'll also allow for title revocation. The other thing we should probably consider doing is um, bringing up church taxation or something. We're making a small amount on churches. Most of our church vassals are at least positive with us. I like the idea of church taxes. Let's do it. Tax, tax all the things. And now what we're really betting on here is that the 2,510 troops that are neutral to us do not count in this battle. It's actually, honest, I feel embarrassed because I haven't played CK2 a huge amount recently and I don't know. I can't remember. I don't think they count. But we're about to find out. If it's actually 4,400, that's going to be really bad. Um, but they're neutral to us, so it shouldn't count, logically. I don't care if that girl becomes Rajput. One more day. And they do count. Damn! Well, they took a river crossing, and we are in the jungle. Apparently horse archers get a penalty here, even though we have no horse archers. We are leading the troops, and we are in the center. We have a leading the center modifier, so we should be okay. Or was that our previous character? Uh, what was our previous character? We're an organizer. So they have a numeric advantage, very slightly. Right flank falls first. That was the weakest of the flanks. And, uh, was there somebody else that I wanted to kill? It's probably this guy, actually. We could chance it, but this will definitely be breaking the feudal contract if we... if we let him... if we get caught. Alright, so we're gonna hire some mercenaries in anticipation of losing this battle. We'll hire two, because we're about to go on a major holy war. We can afford them. We become craven, because we're losing this battle. I'm really frustrated that those count. They shouldn't count. If his army wasn't there, we would not be fighting them. Like if we were just passing by the neutral army. But I guess they technically do count. Kind of. And we can't siege this because it's occupied by the Thakana of Molten, this guy. Who is now fighting the Shahi Shadam. That's the army of Baluchistan. So how do we get, uh... We, we technically control everything that we can control. So we are getting... Ticking war score, but... Let's go fight that army. We'll join in if we can. Looks like we don't even need to. He did it on his own. Time for a new spy master. My brother, maybe? No, I think we go with this guy. My son. Scheme in Delhi. Delhi, maybe it's called, I don't know. Well, we do want this battle to go well. Rise of the Shia, indeed. Now we'll go clean up the army of Baluchistan. We're going to release, actually. Um, here, let's split off mercenaries. And we'll take the armies that are not mercenaries. 
back home and release so that they can get that uh, Vassal Levy's Raise Too Long penalty to go away. And also we can re-raise a larger host in a few months. For now, we'll just use the mercenaries to clean up the armies of Luchistan. And, uh, looks like the, whoever the hell that is, <laughs> what happened to the summit, the, uh, the other guy? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, Jesus, you, uh, you have the Shadam of Persia history. So you are the conqueror, you are of the, that dynasty, and then this guy, the Safarid dynasty, apparently just got deposed. Probably because of decadence, maybe? I don't know. I don't know why he lost control. Was that... Was it the rebe the rebels that took it from him? Maybe that was. This is occupied by Molten. We need to be hostile to him so that we can actually attack. If we just declare war on him, then we can siege that back. Otherwise, we're sitting here waiting for the ticking war score to make this problem go away. He might surrender to us, and if he does, I'd be willing to accept, because then we can declare war on Baluchistan. In the meantime, though, we really do just need to get this guy to stop hating us. I mean, we, we could try to make him friendly, just by giving him some titles and stuff. He wants to become steward, which is a fairly, fairly simple job. The main thing, I think, is to just... Maybe hold, have some peace for a little while. We'll keep the mercenaries, though. Come on, man. Surrender. Just give me that one county. I'll take it. It's all I want. Give me a leg in the... a uh, foot in the door. So to speak. Or, I need a fabricated claim. We'll go ahead and ask politely, I guess, this time, just to see if that guy is willing to... Nope. So my... His opinion of me goes down by negative 25. Okay. That's fine. It means that he's likely to plot to do bad things. Let's piss him off even further by revoking his honorary title. We'll just make him hate us. Sick our spy master there. Have him scheming to try to pl uncover plots. Wow, look at that character. He came out great. And he is a Kshatriya. Let's find a Kshatriya phone. They're all so young. She's not bad. A little bit older than he is. Do we have any geniuses or... There's a 12-year-old strong one. 15-year-old strong... Shatria, yes. We'll take her. I don't care. We want it. We want to get some strong in the dynasty. Get that GN the, the DNA going. Okay. Come on now. Either give me a give me a claim so that I can finesse this thing. At age twenty five, Raja some dude died in battle. Who is this? Who are you? Oh! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, my... My vassal that hated me died in battle. What battle? You weren't even in, in a battle. <laughs> okay, whatever. Now, this guy still hates us because he's, amb he's an ambitious eight-year-old, apparently. Um... I still think we should try to kill this, this little delinquent dynasty off. As long as they have claims on our kingdom, it's going to be a problem. One more dy one more generation, unless he presses the claim. But somebody could easily create a faction to support that, that little brat. And if we hadn't lost that battle, if I had just known... Fortunately, we make enough money that we can pretty much keep these mercenaries on hand for a few decades without problems. And that also prevents anyone else from, from raising them. We could... Why don't we go siege Baluchistan just for the heck of it? Keep these mercenaries active. Even this guy got joined in. 
Hey, you've decided to introduce a new law to the good people of the realm, as is your right as the ruler. Now you just have to decide on its contents. We're going to do the Pants Act. The Pants Act. This new law has been written and courtiers are even now distributing it all to all of your vassals. You admire your handiwork. Whereas pants constrict not only the lower limbs and reproductive organs, but also the human soul and... Whereas pants are known to be an affront to all forms of life but man... Therefore I, Maharaja Shamsher of Juti Kingdom, command that the use of pants be outlawed throughout the realm under penalty of death. All existing variants of this garment are to be immediately burned and the ashes distributed evenly over the graves of our forefathers. So, for two years everyone's a little upset with me because I've abolished pants. But that's what happens when you're insane. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, cool. We can plot to revoke the kanas and stuff. So, we do have a domain limit of six now. These guys, uh, he is our vassal, so we don't want to do that. Uh, so we try to get Sakala, which is that one, or Bera. Bera is actually quite a good province. They're both quite good, actually. But Bera is slightly better, and it's a woman. So she'll be upset with us for being a lunatic. Her opinion would be much higher if we weren't, a, if it wasn't a woman. <laughs> Introduced insane law. Well, that's like your opinion, man. Yeah, let's try to revoke her plot, her county. People want to join us? Good. That's something else we can do while we wait for a claim on that province. Another kinsman, also a Kshatriya. Excellent uh, holy warrior there. This one will just marry off to anybody, really. Revoke the Thakana. That was quick. Something else we can use to uh, keep our, our mercenaries busy while we wait for this ticking war score to eventually tick up to 100. Or for him to just surrender. Or for the other war to end, so that we can then... You know what, actually, come to think of it, they've sieged the war goal, but we could go siege the capital. But it's currently being sieged by some other guy, Shahi Shalom. Betrothed can marry my son, the one that's going to marry the genius, or sorry, the strong one. So quick and strong. Fantastic. Go ahead, lose some prestige, I dare you. Oh, look at that. Something just happened. Top holding was retaken. Alright. More important than sieging that, I think, is focusing on the war goal. And because that got unoccupied, now we no longer have the ticking war score because all of the target provinces in the holy, like the war goal, are no longer occupied. What river is this? The Indus. There's a lot of troops. And our guru died already. Gurus don't seem to live very long. Let's find a new one. How come I can't find a new guru yet? Can we only do that once per lifetime or something dumb like that? And apparently the final province is occupied yet again. Let's uh, assault that. So we did get control of the city. But the top holding is held by the Thakana of Karur now. Who we also have no right to attack. And we are neutral to. It's just obnoxious, really. I guess we've tried to fabricate a claim on him, so we can attack them. Become Samrat Chakrav... What the hell is this? Oh, wow! Is Emperor of Rajasthan, is Emperor of Bengal Emperor Empire, and is Emperor of the Deccan Empire. What are all these? Rajasthan, Bengal. So if we have, if we're the emperor of all of those empires, all, all three of them, then we can do this thing and become the emperor, empire of India, which will most likely convert them all to a du jour, that thing. So that's available now. Cool. Seems fine. Seems legit. Righteous imprisonment. Shamshir Juti, my brother. He is trying to kill some guy. Just stop it, brother.
My 13-year-old daughter needs an educator. Let's pick someone we can get some opinion with. My nephew sounds good. He should like us better. I don't know why it's not showing it there, but daughters, like your direct kin, always provide an opinion bonus. So for instance, my nephew says 69. It doesn't say it's going to give a plus 20 opinion, but when we go to him, now he's at 89. In trusted award times 2 plus 4. I don't know why it's not showing it. It's strange. Hey, we have a, a claim on the Thakan of Karur. Sounds good. Um, we're going to go ahead and just immediately declare war on him then. That makes us hostile to him, and now we're allowed to siege back his sieges. So that siege immediately begins. Now we assault. Bam. Now we fully occupy the Holy War target, which means we get our Ticking War score. And now we can go siege Karur while we wait, hopefully for him to just give up. Actually, let's go smash that final army. Maybe he'll give up then. That's the uh, that's his army. And I guess we'll sick uh, sick our our diplomat somewhere else now. Our little mercenary army is doing a good job despite the cost. He already surrenders. Fantastic. Right back to where we were. I guess we hold on to this for now. No reason not to. Oh, that's strange. Why is that independent? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Somehow, um... This guy surrendered to him or something somehow. And that was why we were able to siege it. Not because we were taking it back from the other guy, but because we declared war on him for that reason. That was, that was weird. Alright dude, would you please surrender? You're really making this problematic. And we don't want to be involved in this. We want to attack Malton. That's what we need to do. I really don't like when people have just like a single holding like this. It's really... I don't like when they get mixed up. We have a son named Har Krishan, who is a Vaisha. Vaishya. So he's not suited for much. Alright. Um, it's a fairly sizable army there. Most of this is because of all of that. So these guys are rallying to defend him. And of course I can't siege this damn thing because this stupid little one province, two province minor guy is doing his own dumb holy war. Wow, look at the color on that. Defender. It's like blue. Except illegible. Why is it doing that? Very strange. Alright, so we don't want to fight that army. Um, we just really need him to stop existing. That would be most ideal. He's going to go to Bori, most likely, and try to take that back from us. Would you please just surrender? Hmm... Alright, I think it's time to raise up our mercenaries, or raise up our actual levy, and we're going to try to fight the army. 6,000 versus our 6,000. We've got how many total? 7,000. So it looks like we might just have to do a heads-up battle to actually win this stupid war, because of these dumb little guys. Oh wait, nope, 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 nope. Thakur Mulraja has won. So you won. You won your Holy War for Molten, but because you didn't occupy anything in Molten, you didn't get anything in Molten. How dumb. See, all that, and you just made it harder for me. Fine. Now we can apparently go siege. My daughter came of age. Let's get her married off. She is a uh, Kshatriya. Um, I guess we married the king. King boy. Alright, so yeah, we just rally through, 
78's not worth waiting for. And then we're going to go either fight this guy or assault his capital. I think we'll assault the capital. We've got enough troops that we can assault safely. 10 to 1 odds, pretty good ratio. That might give us enough war score for him to just surrender. Actually, no, he's got 1,000 troops. Damn. These Indians have really well upgraded holdings early in the game. All right, let's just go fight the army. Before we do that, though, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. We're not going to stick around and make this video 30 minutes long. Be crazy. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.